So this is the K2 Revolver boot. Now the Revolver is the latest iteration of the three-piece boot design, which formerly was a couple of the full tilt models, now sitting under the K2 banner in the Flex collection. Now there are four different models of Revolver, and there is two different boot shells on offer. So let's run through these different models to see what the differences are. So first up, there is the Revolver and the Revolver Pro, which are both based on the original classic shell, which even harkens back to the Reikley days. Um, but this one is just the more tapered toe box, along with your standard Alpine soles and replaceable heel lug. Then you also have the Revolver Team, as well as the Pro models, which are both based on the newer, updated, now renamed Revolver Plus shell, which has the more open toe box, has grip lock soles on the bottom, and these are even beefed up with the better cinch power straps on top. And the differences between the models themselves is gonna be the liner options available and the flexes that the boots come in. So the base model revolver boots in both men's and women's start out of the box at a 90 flex. The revolver pro series in men's and women's are both at a 100 flex. Then you have the Pro model, the Tom Wallish Pro, as well as the Taylor Brook Lundquist, are both a 100 flex. And then you have this one, the Revolver Team, which in the men's is a 120 flex, and for the women's is a 110 flex boot option. So this boot really is a favorite amongst the freestyle skiers. Now, whether that be for park, moguls, or big mountain skiing, it really is a solid choice with a proven track record. Now, although it may not be the most responsive boot as far as carving or highly technical skiing, one thing that it does really well is absorb impacts. So it is absolutely perfect for slashing around, jumping off things, and taking heavy landings. Fit-wise, you will find a little bit of difference between the two shell models. Even though they are both labelled as a 99mm last, that classic shell tends to fit a little bit narrower due to its tapered toe box, and this Revolver Plus shell is a bit more of a medium fit due to having a little bit more relief up front for space. But they both are a heat moldable shell, so you can get some quick expansion by doing a heat mold on the plastic. And also depending on which liner combination you go with will also affect how the space feels up front along with how it wraps the lower leg in the cuff. So if you're familiar with this boot from the past, one thing that you'll probably like and really appreciate is just how flexible this is from a setup point of view. Now every component on this boot is replaceable and easily taken off just with a screwdriver. So you can really alter how this boot is going to feel and how it skis by changing a few of the elements. So not only can you take off the front tongue and replace that to get a different flex rating, you can also quickly adjust your forward lean by changing different angled wedges or even with the spoiler. And you also can replace buckles if they're ever broken and you can also alter your cuff alignment. So a lot of variety really easily to get this boot skiing how you want it to. Now out of this Revolver range, this one is probably my favorite. This is the Revolver Team, uh, basically because it is the burliest of the range uh, with the best fit for what I like and the 120 flex tongue. So when we look at this one, let's break it down a little bit further. You do have this really nice solid power strap with the cinch cam buckle. Three cable buckles across the front over the tongue. Um, the other thing that is of note of this boot is the ability for it to open all the way up. Very easy to get your foot in and out of this boot. So between the wrap liner and the pro tongue liner, uh, there's a little bit of construction difference. On this team model, you do get this pro tongue. It has quite a solid wrapping around the cuff with the plastic material just to get some more response out of the boot. 
Um, also, you do have a bit of plastic running down the front of the tongue, but it doesn't go over the top of the foot. So that's where it stays with that nice intuition foam completely around the top. And that is a really nice feature of this tongue liner. Uh, quite a broad elastic across the top. So it does still wrap the foot quite well. And we have a better shape through the toe box here built in as well. Uh, on the back of this liner is some Velcro attached, which formerly you could add some foam J-bars to. Now that's not an element that I really like about this liner, but it is there. Also, you do have loops if you ever wanted to add some laces onto it to get a snugger fit around the lower leg. So if I was to talk any negatives on this boot, really the only thing I think is a negative on the team is the Velcro on the back here. Um, I think it's kind of redundant. There wasn't any laces or any Velcro in the box. So it's an aftermarket part you'd have to source out. And the only other thing that bugs me on this boot is I just wish this bottom cable was about five millimeters longer. It really isn't a lot in it, but it just is restrictive to anyone that is a little bit higher in the instep. It just has a touch too much pressure, which I think could be solved because you do have quite a bit of travel in this lower buckle. If that cable was a touch longer, it actually opens up this boot to a few more feet, which is only a good thing as far as fitting the boot is concerned. So inside the boot, boot board is a fully shock absorbing rubberized boot board. It's not very straight on its ramp angle. It actually takes quite a dive and has a bit of curvature. Uh, stance wise on this, we're averaging about five degrees of ramp angle and a range of anywhere from say 12 to 16 degrees of forward lean with about 14 degrees out of the box. So overall, what do I think to the revolver boot? I absolutely love it. Now it is a boot that's been around for quite a while. Um, it's one I've skied with in the past and it really is a solid freestyle ski boot. So pretty stoked on it. I like what K2's done as it's come into their range as far as reducing the amount of options to make it much more simple. Um, but it's kind of a shame that they actually got rid of the 130 flex option. So I'd love to see that make a comeback. Um, now you'll also find this isn't the only three piece boot that K2 have. There is also the method range. I'm gonna review that in a later video, but this one covers the 99 millimeter lasted revolvers. And uh, yeah, this is a great one. So I'm gonna give this a rating of eight. Thanks guys, catch you in the next review.